Thanks. We'll see exactly where we end up. Thursday, 19th of September, and today, believe me, absolutely elated, because we're catching up with Ted and JJ from Left on Colfax. And I'll tell you what, I think we'd better do this first. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, and so very, very happy to have you on board. If you're a first-time viewer, special welcome to you, and in fact, I'll tell you what, uh, why not do this, why not sub, thumb, bell, bingo, bell notifications when we have important people, much like JJ and Ted from Left on Colfax, subscribe, become part of the family. Believe me, it's a piece of cake, and if you don't know how to do that, Get in touch with Barbara. She'll help you through it. It's pretty painless. And the thummy thing, you know what to do with that, right? Yeah. Get epileptic. Anyway, let's kick it off. Here's Left on Colfax on Galaxy with Red and Blue. So that gives us a couple of minutes, guys. Good. How we go there? <laughs> I'm waiting for Barbara to type my name. Left-handed. You're left-handed. Yeah, it was. I see. Leave it. Yeah. So how you guys been keeping? It's, been, it's a busy summer around here. You know, we've been uh, hard to hard to do everything that needs to get done and uh, see all the people I'm supposed to see and go to all the parties I'm supposed to go to. It's a it's a tough life. Wow. I never get invited to parties. <laughs> never do. Maybe but, once, you know. Yeah, well, you, you don't get invited back, right? You, but you, well, the thing is, the first time. they invite me along to be the DJ. Frozen. I never really get a chance to go over there and just mix and mingle, you know what I mean? <clears throat> oh, you got to work the whole time. Yeah, exactly. They say, come along, have a beer, you know, let's have a barbecue, everything like that. And then as soon as you get there, oh, there's the sound equipment. Can you help us out? <laughs> it's like, great, thanks. Yeah, we can get them to bring a plate. Yeah. Bring them yeah. in. Yeah, good o, good o. I'll make the salad. Melba yeah. Winkle is watching. Nice to have you on board, Melba. It really, really is. Um, looking forward to meeting Eric Diamond in the yeah, near future look, as well. Look at that. Look, um, it looks like Ted's frozen. Looks like Ted's frozen. Yeah, JJ hasn't. Yeah, he, he, he looks rather humorous with his hips up, you know, hand on his hips. Up. What's that T-shirt say? Left on Colfax. Oh, I see. Is it? They might send you one. I, yeah, there's a good idea. Oh, he moved. <laughs> he moved. No idea. He, he's playing statue, isn't he? <laughs> you know what one yeah. statue said? Yeah, make sure you can read that. Yeah. Perfect. Absolutely. I'll close that properly. Um, I won't move. I'll just move into the camera up close like this. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Oh, no, you didn't move. That warm and frozen guess here. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and today we're talking to not only Ted, Frozen Ted, uh, but JJ as well and uh, both of them combined. Uh, of course, left on Colfax and uh, Nick Blue's coming out of the UK saying good morning Grant, good morning Barbara, good morning Frozen Guest. So <laughs> even he's having a bit of humour with it. Welcome back to Galaxy guys. 
Yeah, thanks so much. It's great Thank to be you. back here. Absolutely. Good morning pleasure. or afternoon or whatever it might be. Afternoon. A abs evening. Absolute pleasure, JJ. And I've got to stay, uh, uh, say, Ted. Hello, Ted. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, I remember uh, back in the days when we were having a few problems with our microphones and mixing desk and it kind of was the hello show there for some time and I think the only person that really appreciated that was poor old Ted here he kind of loved it so we kept on doing it mm. we, we had there for it was a while. the hello show it was the hello show Ted and was, uh, I don't know it was just for you, I think, to be very honest, my friend. <laughs> you've heard of it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, it did look like you were about to practice the haka earlier on. Now you've got your finger in your ear with a funny look on your face. Kind of worried about you, sir. I really, really am. Uh, with JJ, well, you know something? Absolutely loving the ponytail. Thank you, sir. That's the only place I can keep any of my black hairs. Uh, be populated, so I gotta hold on to them as long as I can. Yeah, believe me, I, I kind of know what you mean. I really do. <laughs> I really do. <clears throat> I'm not gonna get into it, I'm really, really not. Uh, but we started off the show, guys, with red and blue. And uh, I think we should get right into there and let us know how did, how did the lyrics come around with this track? This, this is a Ted track, yeah, this is a Ted song. Yeah, I kind of figured, but the look on his face there, he, he's stunned Mel right now. <laughs> Red and Blue is, is as close as we'll ever get to uh, anything political, and it's not really making a statement other than uh, people are just too political, I guess, and let it, let it interfere with their lives and, and relationships, and, uh, you know, Back when I was a kid, it was rude to ask who you were going to vote for. And um, I, I, I miss that. I think we should get back to that because people just don't know how to behave anymore. So that, that's just that's the ability. Right. Yeah, that's not... <laughs> the world is too PC. It, it's, it's gone so PC that, you know, Love your carrots and your cucumbers, which is a bit weird these days. It really, really is. It's okay to love your produce, just don't love your produce, okay? <laughs> really. But having said that, quite well, thought about it that way, but yeah. Good life advice. But look, your produce won't mow your lawns, okay? <laughs> really, won't. not in the morning anyway. Very, 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 is getting a little weird now. It really, really is. So, we better move on. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> now, as I was about to say, we better move on. How do we get hold of you guys? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? Are you a talker? But more importantly, do you respond? Yeah, I have. I mean, we're on we're on all the streaming services. We have a website, leftoncolfax.com. I mean, come check us out. You can uh, buy some fancy apparel that uh, you know if you want to, you know, stand out in a crowd like like Ted here and direct traffic in the middle of the street. Um, yeah. You can, and uh, so the, mostly on the streaming services and our website is the best place to find us. Right now he looks like one of those things that you would see down in the car park, right? <laughs> Sorry. That's right, he's at the, outside the tire store. There you go. I don't know where the hell this came from. I, I kind of <laughs> like it, but I also don't know why you put me in the street directing traffic. <laughs> well, okay. you know, you, you're telling him to go three different directions. But don't go anywhere. It's a, I think it's a perfect shirt to direct traffic in. Yeah, exactly. I, I get it. Really, JJ, I I'm understand. Yeah. <laughs> but he's not telling you to do that because he's got the red anti-circle through it. So That's it's... right. Don't do any of that. Don't yeah. do any of that. Exactly. Let's not do lift on coffee. It's a very clear message. There you go. 
And, and yeah, the message is very clear. I was tied when I came up with this. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. Yeah, I was kind of scared there for a minute. It looked like your finger was going to explode. <laughs> oh, don't talk about really that. Dead. So, guys, <clears throat> until the end of time, uh, tell me all about this track, because I'm absolutely loving this right now. Oh, thank you. That's a that's a song that uh, I, I put together. I was I was trying to express the sentiment of what's the most important thing in in life, you know. And it's not to, well. It's, it's easy for me to say it's not uh, being rich because uh, I've never been that way. So I've had to learn to adapt to some other you know type of lifestyle. And uh, anyway, look, looking at looking at, back on the years when I, um, I decided. That uh, love, of course, is the ultimate thing. The Beatles taught me that, you know. So I wanted to express that as well. How, you know, money can't buy me love. It's kind of the same type of idea. We're looking for uh, the, the real happiness, you know. And uh, so that that was kind of how the song started. That is really yeah, really cool. The, that... well, I just I took the song and I passed it off to Ted. And uh, he finished it off and uh, named the song. So, as, as a collaboration, he he, he uh, finished it and, and brought brought the whole thing home to to, to, to make it complete. Very One very cool. One of my cool. grandkids' favorite traveling songs when they're traveling with uh, my wife, their grandmother, and they uh, when they were little, they called it the, the grocery getter song. And so that's uh, that's their name for it. That, that's that's cool in its own right. Uh, did I? You are familiar that Barbara and I went to India last November, right? For sure. Yep. Yeah. Uh, did I tell you that uh, I ended up at the uh, the Beatles Cafe over there? It really is an existing thing that John Lennon used to own. Really? Yeah. Fun. Yep. Yeah, well, the thing is. Uh, there's a chair there that was specifically John Lennon's chair, and it's roped off, nobody's allowed to sit in it, right? Until the manager came along and introduced himself and asked me if I'd like to have a seat. <laughs> the whole, I'm not kidding, the whole place. I mean, for about 50 plus years, almost 60 years, nobody but nobody has sat in the seat. And then the owner of this place comes along and goes, We'd be more than happy to let you sit in it. <clears throat> you're, you're, That's you, awesome. Are you kidding? You passed the test. Yeah, I hope you sat in it. Yeah, believe me, I couldn't wait for that rope to come down to be able to get it, you know. And it was the most uncomfortable seat I'd sat in in a long time, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> really was. That's why no one was sitting in it. Yeah, quite possibly, to be very honest. But, you know something... Uh, it was such an honour to be able to sit there and say, my tushy is the next tushy from John Lennon. That is, yeah, <laughs> that's something to think about. Yeah. Well, 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 while you're being uncomfortable. Exactly, exactly. I'm uncomfortable thinking about it right now. <laughs> well, you look uncomfortable thinking about it right now, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you like the stool? <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. You'll understand when you see the video, don't you worry. Uh, but no, truly, uh, John Lennon walked into this building once and said, I like this building. He bought it. He had his own special little uh, area where he used to sit and uh, partake in alcohol. And, uh, well, it still looks identical to what it was when he owned it, if you know what I mean. Just passed through a few hands and said, and while we were over in India, Barbara and I, uh, I happened to be uh, commandeered, let's put it this way, by... Uh, well, a rather important person, he, he's part of the uh, hierarchy of the running of India, and he said to me, come on, let's, let's go along and have a few drinks at this particular place, and I went, where are we going? He goes to the Beatles Cafe, and I went, the Beatles Cafe, never heard of it, he goes, it was actually owned by John Lennon. When we got there, it was just like Leninist everywhere, you know what I mean? Uh, every part of memorability you could think of. Fantastic place, it really, really is, and I recommend anybody that goes to Trevantum, go and check it out, Kerala. Believe me, you'll love it, you really will. Sean Simpson's joining us, as well as Christina Morell, and I think 
it's about that time that we, well, it's not the end of time. Well, it could, it could be almost until, tell you what, it's until the end of time. You're right here at Galaxy. How you feeling, guys? Feeling great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Very cool. It's awesome to catch up with you guys again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Always good to hang out with you. Yeah. You know, um, here's something that happened to me last night. It really freaked the hell out of me, to be very honest with you. Because uh, it never happens. My phone never rings. Right? It, it never rings. And about 11 o'clock last night, my phone rings, and this gruff voice goes, I've got your wife, and I'm going to deal with her until, unless you give me $150,000. I said, sir, you must have the wrong number. My wife's lying next to me, but don't hang up, let's talk. Yeah, let's, let's still negotiate, eh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> don't hang up, let's talk. <laughs> Uh, you know something? That was my wife's joke. That makes it even funnier, I think. <laughs> I like her. Do you? Thank you. Do you? Okay. <laughs> this, this is the man that can't make his mind up hey, whether he's going side to side or up. Hey, Christine. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, darling. <laughs> I, I want one of your t-shirts, bro. I want to wear one of your t-shirts. I think we'll. I think we're just gonna have to send you one. Yeah, you may have to. I'll, uh, I'll get my people on that. Do that. Yeah. Do that. I, I, I like a man that has people. I do. I like a man that has people that do things. I got people that don't do things. <laughs> the people is me. <laughs> dear, 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 dear. I do have people. Yeah. I do. I've got a secretary. I've got a PA assistant. <laughs> I've got an on-air producer. I've got engineers in the fishbowl. I got people. Be nice if they did something. <laughs> I just said that to sound like a big shot. I really don't have people. Singers, it uh, strict to sound the same. But we were going, we were trying to make them all sound the same, so that was that's a good thing. I don't want to be Boston. Not that there's anything wrong with Boston; they're pretty good. They got a they have a particular sound for sure. They do. You're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, and today we're joined by Ted and JJ from Left on Colfax. Uh, of course, Ted's coming out of Denver, Colorado, and, well, uh, sorry, Ted's coming out of Texas, and JJ's coming out of Denver, Colorado. Uh, Denver, Colorado, it's the Mile High City, isn't it, JJ? That's that's right, it's the Mile High City. Okay, is the air thinner there than what it is in Texas? Oh, no. It's a little thinner. It, yeah, the air's, a, the air's a lot thinner here, for sure. Okay. So we, you, have, you, yeah, we have more red blood cells in our blood, they say. I get it. Look, as an asthmatic, you see, believe me, I, I appreciate every bit of air that I can get 
to be very honest with you. Uh, but I was watching a, um, a baseball game just the other day, and uh, of course one of your local uh, one of your local teams, and of course they were playing the Astros. Would you believe of all, all teams, sure. you know? And uh, they were saying that the uh, the air is so much different there that when visiting teams come along, they struggle that much more because they're not used to the thin air that you guys are breathing up there. Um, <clears throat> it's quite an art. That's, yes, that does have an effect for sure. Mm. You know, it's a, but, a, but an athlete should be able to overcome that if they're, uh, if they're a real athlete, I would think, right? Yeah. For well, normal guys like you and I, you can definitely feel it, though. Well, it, it, I'll tell you who has a more difficult time overcoming it is someone that comes, let's say, from Texas, where the elevation is maybe one, uh, to Denver, and they think that maybe they can they can consume alcohol the same way uh, in Denver, Colorado, that, that they do in Houston, Texas, and you cannot, you just can't. And I've seen many a, a great man fall literally uh, from thinking they can do that. It makes a, it makes a big difference on alcohol consumption. You know, I I, I get that. I really do. Uh, now, at the same time, look, look, talking about alcohol, I would presume that your country is much like my country where you have a certain amount you're allowed to drink and then you're not allowed to drive, right? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, yes. question for you. Why do they put car parks around pubs? <laughs> Here we go. I mean, right there, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Why is it? I mean, why is it? If you're not allowed to drink and drive, then why the hell are you putting a car park there? I, I, I think it's yeah, right. I, I think it's like the old fishing thing. You go fishing with a net, you know. Police officers are out there. They'll go, put a car park there. I want to see how many cars turn up. <laughs> you know, gotcha, it was sweet. Sure, that's the way it is. Uh, now, at the same time, guys, we've got to move on, but... Got to ask you, anything in the can? Got anything new coming up in the near future? Oh my goodness, we have so much new stuff. It's like unbelievable. It's like we got so many songs. We're, we're trying to figure out which ones to put out next. We just got, I don't know, we probably got 10, 10 or 12 songs. There's a, there's a we huge have that list. many new songs. That, yeah, so we're, we're just try, we're trying to get them up polished and, and, and pick the next one. So it's like, I don't know. We're 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 uh, very in a very creative spot here, just trying to to polish them up, right, and get get them ready for you guys. So they're they're going to be coming out so fast. Absolutely brilliant, JJ. I am so looking forward to that because I'm a big fan. I really am a big fan. Uh, even though Ted doesn't move a hell of a lot, I still am a big fan. <laughs> and I tell you what, I would love to catch up with you guys again if you'll come back again. Absolutely, it's so fun to hang out with you. Awesome, 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 awesome. Oh, by the way, keep those voice drops coming. Believe me, I'm loving them. I really am. Uh, especially when you're in Denver, Colorado. Hold on, you're not. You're in Texas. I like that one. I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep those coming. In the meantime, uh, don't go anywhere because we're going to do a couple of picky things and stuff like that. Probably turn you into a cartoon. You never know. Happens to me all the time. I don't know how it works. Uh, in the meantime, have a very happy and successful day. Don't go anywhere, though, because very, very shortly, quarter past 11, we're heading all the way over to Nashville, and believe me, I'm looking forward to this. We're meeting a young lady by the name of Jasmine Kane. You're going to like it. You really are. So, hang in there. But until then, happy radio, everyone.